This really feels like a new beginning. Let's go, Grace! Soma Hayek is a popular actress, producer, and director of Mexican descent who managed to achieve dizzying success by overcoming discrimination and disbelief. At 56, she remains one of the most beautiful Hollywood actresses. Salma Hayek's filmography includes many famous films from Dusk Till Dawn, Frida, Banditas, and others. In this video, we're going to tell you about the life of the actress. Salma Hayek, how the main gangster lady of Hollywood lives and where she spends her millions. Salma Valgarma Hayek Jimenez was born in the Mexican city of Cotacocos on September 2, 1966 in a wealthy family. Her mother, Diana Jimenez Medina, is an opera singer of Mexican-Spanish descent, and her father, Sammy Hayek Dominguez, is an oil company manager of Lebanese descent who once even ran for mayor of Cozacolcos. Salma has a younger brother, Sammy, nine years her junior, named after their father. Growing up, the guy became a furniture designer. The father often took the girl to the only cinema in the city, which was often completely packed, and she watched movies sitting on on his shoulders. One of the films was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, starring Gene Wilder. After watching the movie, Salma was determined to become an actress. As a child, Hayek was engaged in rhythmic gymnastics, and at the age of nine, she was even invited to the Mexican national team. But her parents didn't allow her to go so far from home, and soon they banned her from doing sports altogether. They didn't like that their daughter got very tired after training. The parents spoiled the young Mexican, but they were very religious people. That's why at the age of 12, Salma was sent to study at a Catholic boarding school for girls at a monastery in Louisiana, USA. There, doctors diagnosed her with dyslexia, which meant that the schoolgirl could not fully master the skills of reading and writing. At that time, the future celebrity couldn't boast of a beautiful appearance. She was short and didn't have a feminine figure like her classmates, which is why she was very self-conscious. However, even then, she manifested a hot temper. She dared to show her discontent, was defiant, for which she was expelled from the school. After that, the girl briefly returned to Mexico and then went to Houston, Texas, where she lived until the age of 70 with her aunt. As a teenager, Salma was overweight and had skin problems, which caused the girl to be constantly depressed. But she did not only overcome the problems, but also turned into a real beauty. The young Mexican girl became so beautiful that her devout grandmother suddenly cut off her luxurious hair in order to save her granddaughter from the army of admirers who wanted to encroach on her dignity. Growing up, Hayek entered the Ibero-American University, studying international relations in Mexico City. Soon, the girl realized that she didn't want to be a diplomat at all and began to study acting in secret, playing in student productions. Once, Salma performed in the play Aladdin on the stage of the Children's Theater, where a Mexican producer noticed the girl and offered her a small role in the TV series A Nuevo Amenaza, New Dawn. Her debut turned out to be so impressive that after a while, the actress got the main role in the TV series Teresa, which was released in 1989 and made Hayek a real Mexican star. Recognition in Mexico was not enough for the ambitious girl, and in 1991, she went to conquer Hollywood. Although at first, she was in the United States illegally. Fans of her talent at home then started a rumor that the actress had a secret affair with the president and was forced to leave Mexico so as not to become a victim of revenge of the first lady. At first, the actress had a hard time. The girl didn't know English well, and the main roles were offered to Mexican women infrequently. Despite this, she began studying acting under the most famous theater teacher in the U.S., Stella Adler, and also began to improve her English language skills. Today, the determined girl speaks not only Spanish, but also Arabic and Portuguese. Still, the first roles in Hollywood films were minor, requiring from the actress not so much talent as a beautiful appearance for the roles of prostitutes and mistresses. Nevertheless, Salma didn't refuse them and appeared in TV series Dream On, Street Justice, My Crazy Life, Rebel Highway, and Road Racers. 
The role in the 1994 Mexican film The Alley of Miracles, which received more awards than any other in the history of Mexican cinema, became really significant for Hayek. For her performance, she received a nomination for the main Mexican film award, Ariel. At that moment, the actress realized that the peak of her Mexican film career had come and there was nothing more to conquer at home, so she continued to look for her place under the Hollywood sun. A hot-headed Mexican woman has always been able to stand up for herself and in one talk show openly spoke out about discrimination and how difficult it was for Mexican-born actors to advance their careers in the U.S. In this TV show, she was noticed by director and producer Robert Rodriguez, whom she conquered not only with her beauty but also her wit. The director appreciated Hayek's talents and invited her to film Desperado, starring Antonio Banderas. Is that him? Yes, but you're not doing anything to him around here. All your girls, both girls, and I don't want to die over this, okay? <sighs> Stay away from the window before they see you. Initially, Jennifer Lopez was supposed to be the actor's partner, but Rodriguez bet on Salma, unknown in America, and did not miss. The duo turned out to be spectacular. For their collaboration, the actors were nominated for the MTV Channel Award for Best Kiss, but only they know how hard the bed scene was, because for the girl, it was her first experience of filming a candid scene. The Mexican woman was crying from embarrassment because she was frightened by the reaction of her religious parents, but she pulled herself together, and after many hours, hours of filming, she managed to achieve an excellent result. After the successful work of Hayek and Banderas, the director invited the duo to shoot The Mask of Zorro. However, when Rodriguez left the director's chair, Salma followed him, and in the movie, she was replaced by Catherine Zeta-Jones. The actress left because she is close friends with the director. Hayek even became a godmother to Rodriguez's children. The Mexican went on to act in Robert's movies, and in 1995, the films Four Rooms and From Dusk Till Dawn, starring her, were released. The latter became a cult classic, and the dance of the vampire queen with snakes performed by Salma entered the history of cinema forever. But it actually was an improvisation shot almost from the first take. And this is despite the fact that in real life, the girl is afraid of snakes. This was followed by roles in the films Fled, Follow Me Home, Breaking Up, which were not as successful as the next romantic comedy Fools Rush In, where her co-star was Matthew Perry, already known at that time for the role of Chandler in the TV series Friends. That brought you right to this very spot at the exact same time that I showed up at this very spot. You do? Absolutely. In 1997, the actress played the role of Esmeralda in the movie The Hunchback. On the set of this film, she met the British actor Edward Adderton, and they began dating. This relationship was the first in the life of a 31-year-old Mexican woman, at least the public is not aware of the others. For her sake, her boyfriend even moved to Los Angeles, but Salma preferred to devote all her time to work, so after two years of relationship, the couple broke up. During this relationship, the actress starred in such films as 54, The Velocity of Gary, The Faculty, and Dogma, which turned out to be unsuccessful for the actress since because of it, she was nominated for the Golden Raspberry Anti Award as Worst Supporting Actress. In 1999, Salma got the main role in the big budget film Wild Wild West, where she co-starred with Will Smith. I'm really tired, Artie. Do you think I could borrow something to wear? Oh, I have just... I got something you could wear. It ain't stylish, but it won't explode when you put it on either. That would be nice. In the same year, Hayek met actor Edward Norton at one of the social gatherings, who immediately fell in love with her and the next day invited her to the cinema to watch the movie From Dusk Till Dawn, to which he received a sharp no. As it turned out, the actress hates watching films with her participation. But still, the guy got Salma's favor and the actors began dating. The couple tried to hide the details of their personal life, but still sometimes found themselves in the middle of scandals. Once at a party, Norton's ex-lover Courtney Love made snide remarks to Salma about her accent, for which she was punched by the hot-headed Mexican woman. After four years of relationships, the actors broke up. Due to busy work schedules, they didn't have time for each other, and Edward didn't like that Salma regularly 
appeared on magazine covers and gave numerous interviews. Still, the actors remained good friends after the breakup and keep in touch to this day. Simultaneously with the beginning of the relationship with Norton, the girl founded the production company Ventanarosa and engaged in the production of films and television projects. Her first work was the film No One Writes to the Colonel, which was selected by Mexico for submission to the Academy Award in the nomination Best Foreign Film. The actress herself performed one of the main roles in the film. In the early 2000s, the actress starred in the films Chain of Fools, Time Code, Living It Up, In the Time of the Butterflies, and Hotel. But Hayek's cult fame came from the film Frida in 2002. Did I tell you that I'm going to walk again? Yes. Do you believe it? Of course I do. You'd better because you're going to miss it. Salma dreamed of playing the famous Mexican artist for seven years, and when she became a co-producer of the film, her dream came true. To embody the image of Frida Kahlo on the screen, the actress took lessons in sexual scenes and also lost a few pounds. Her efforts were crowned with success. The movie received six Oscar nominations, including for Best Actress. Frida Kahlo's niece was so impressed with the film that she presented Salma Hayek with the artist's necklace. However, this success was hard for the actress. Many years later, she admitted that she had been harassed and threatened by producer Harvey Weinstein. Other actresses, including Angelina Jolie, Ashley Judd, and Gwyneth Paltrow, have also reported similar incidents before. In 2020, the man was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Next, Hayek appeared in the films of her longtime friend Robert Rodriguez, Spy Kids 3D, Game Over, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico, which also starred Antonio Banderas. What's wrong? Everything. The Mexican also proved herself to be a talented director, presenting her work The Maldonado Miracle in 2003, which brought her recognition as a director and even one of the most prestigious awards in Hollywood, the Emmy. During the same period, Salma began dating actor Josh Lucas, who was five years younger than her. The guy adored her, but she did not feel the same way, and a year later she lost interest in him and broke up with him. In the following years, Salma appeared in After the Sunset, Lonely Hearts, and Ask the Dust. The actress refused to act in the latter film for a long time, as she was offered a typical role for a Mexican woman, but after eight years, she agreed and brilliantly played waitress Camilla. In 2006, Salma Hayek played the main role in the film Banditas, where she co-starred with Penelope Cruz. Where are you going? What do you think I'm doing? I'm taking this bank. With an unloaded gun? I didn't know to load it. Well, usually when a gun doesn't have any bullets, it doesn't matter. You are not robbing this bank. It's taken. Find another one. During the filming, there were rumors that the actresses began a lesbian relationship. Cruz added fuel to the fire when she vigorously groped Salma's buttocks at one of the press conferences. Later, the Spaniard explained her excessive attention to her partner by the fact that she was sick with the flu. Although their collaboration was not a box office success, the girls became best friends and remain so to this day. After that, the actress played cameo roles in the TV series 30 Rock, Ugly Betty, and in the musical Across the Universe. After a series of relationships that didn't end in marriage, the girl kept her personal life secrets. But in 2007, she unexpectedly announced her engagement to French billionaire Francois-Henri Pinault, who owns many fashion houses in Europe, such as Gucci, Alexander McQueen, Yves Saint Laurent, Puma, and others. It turns out later that the actress was expecting a child, and on September 21st of the same year, 41-year-old Salma Hayek became a mother for the first time. She had a girl, Valentina Paloma Pinot. During pregnancy, the actress gained 50 extra pounds, but she didn't regret it. She considers the role of a mother the most important of her life. Because of the awakened maternal instinct, Salma breastfed her daughter until she was 18 months old, and once during a charity mission in Sierra Leone, even fed a baby whose mother had no milk. Despite the appearance of a child in 2008, Hayek announced the cancellation of the engagement with her boyfriend without naming the reasons. After a while, the media 
media began to speculate that the reason for the breakup was the model Linda Evangelista, who in 2006 had a son Augustine from the businessman and could not accept the fact that Francois Henry preferred Hayek. However, the owner of the fashion houses himself didn't consider the relationship with the model serious and soon reconciled with Salma. On February 14, 2009 in Paris, the couple registered their marriage in the presence of only the closest people. And a few months later, they repeated the ceremony in Venice and invited the most distinguished guests of the show business world. After the wedding, Salma Hayek wanted to stop acting and devote herself to her family, but her husband dissuaded her, saying that a talented actress should not stay at home. So she continued her acting career, but she didn't manage to repeat the success of Frida. The actress appeared in the films Cirque de Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, Grown Ups, Americano, as luck would have it, and voiced one of the characters in Puss in Boots. In 2012, at the casting of the film Savages, Salma beat Michelle Rodriguez and Zoe Saldana and got one of the main roles. Another one went to Blake Lively. Also that year, she starred in the movie Here Comes the Boom. You waited? Where? The bowling alley, we had a date. No, we didn't. You asked me and I said no. The sequel of Grown Ups, released in 2013, was such a flop that it received eight Golden Raspberry Award nominations, one of which went to Hayek as Worst Supporting Actress. This fact didn't stop the actress, and she soon played the main roles in the film Some Kind of Beautiful, Everly, Tale of Tales, Septembers of Shiraz, How to Be a Latin Lover, and voiced the characters of the cartoons The Prophet and Sausage Party. In 2017, together with Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson, she starred in the action movie The Hitman's Bodyguard. What do you want you useless? Oh, baby, baby. It's me. Oh, my bad. What do you want you? F the list of the recently released films with the celebrity include the failed movie Drunk Parents, the comedy Like a Boss, the drama The Road's Not Taken, the melodrama Bliss, and the sequel Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. Baby, what in the absolute is Michael Bryce doing here? You said, baby, get me Michael Bryce! In 2021, the talented Mexican woman appeared in the films Eternals and House of Gucci. In 2022, she voiced a character in the animated film Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. In February 2023, Magic Mike's Last Dance premiered, starring Salma Hayek and Channing Tatum. Salma Hayek has repeatedly been declared the most beautiful and sexy woman in the world, according to different magazines. The charming actress is often invited to appear in commercials. One of the first companies with which Salma collaborated was H&M. The girl appeared in their swimsuit commercial in 1999. In 2001, Hayek was a Chappard model. Since 2004, the actress has been a representative of the cosmetics company Avon. At some point, she also represented the company Revlon. In 2011, the Hollywood star released her own cosmetics under the Nuance brand, which was inspired by her grandmother, who knew many recipes for preserving the female beauty. The actress's beauty is truly timeless, and she proved it in an advertisement for the Pomelado jewelry brand. The girl appeared in an advertisement campaign, Got Milk, and in a commercial of the Burger King fast food restaurant chain. She also became the face of the advertising campaign of the Italian vermouth manufacturer Campari, which was shot by Mario Testino himself, Princess Diana's favorite photographer. A successful acting career allows Salma Hayek to live comfortably, and today her net worth is around 200 million. This is without taking into account her husband's money, which is an impressive amount of seven billion. The celebrity is often accused of getting married into money. However, she doesn't take offense and believes that others simply don't understand how happy she is because Francois is a wonderful family man and a good person. In 2019, the generous husband of the actress allocated 100 million euros for the repair of the Notre Dame Cathedral, which was damaged by the fire. Salma Hayek is also a philanthropist and an activist who speaks out against violence and discrimination. In 2006, she donated 25,000 to a Mexican shelter for battered women and another 50,000 to domestic violence groups. The also takes care of stray animals, which she believes finds her, and not the other way around. At the moment, she can't exactly say how many pets she has herself, but there are at least three dozen, including cats, dogs, parrots, 
horses, rabbits, alpacas, guinea pigs, and even turkeys, chickens, and an owl. The Mexican woman is glad that she is able to keep animals at home because the size of her property has always allowed it. Soma bought her first luxury mansion back in 1996 for 537500 in the Hollywood Hills. The total area of the house is 2,900 square feet, and it has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a spacious kitchen, as well as a living room with large windows. The property includes a swimming pool and a courtyard, and the mansion's windows offer a beautiful view of the canyons and the lights of Los Angeles. At the moment, the actress doesn't live in this house, but rents it out for $11,000 a month. In 2007, the movie star bought a mansion from actor Kelsey Grammer in Bel Air for $13,000. $5 million. The area of this luxury estate is about 7,000 square feet. However, a few years ago, the public found out that Soma and her family moved out of this mansion. It was reported that the Pinault family had grown cramped in the house and decided to renovate and erect a huge palace of more than 17,000 square feet on the site, which is currently under construction. The media also learned that in 2017, the couple rented a cottage on Bishop's Avenue in Hampstead, the most expensive street in London, which once belonged to Justin Bieber. The house has 14 bedrooms, several bathrooms, a home cinema, a white dining room, two swimming pools, and a tennis court. Hayek and Penalt can afford to maintain an enormous collection of houses scattered around the world. The actress also owns luxury cars, Audi A8, Mercedes-Benz ML, Vintage Mustang Convertible, Lexus RX, BMW X5, and Range Rover. Salma Hayek's financial status is fully deserved because she achieved success not only due to her beauty and talent, but also determination. The filmography of the actress contains many bright works. What's your favorite movie starring this charming Mexican woman? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.